Ray Anderson, who founded Interface about 20 years ago, set the business to achieve what no other business had done, which was be truly sustainable as an organisation. We called that Mission Zero. He often used to say, if and when we achieve Mission Zero, we could become restorative through the power of our influence. The Networks programme is at least the beginning of demonstrating how Interface can become a restorative organisation. Networks is a programme that Interface has developed with the Zoological Society of London and our other partner Aquafil, who is a fibre supplier to Interface. The programme takes discarded fishing nets from coastal communities and arranges the recycling of those fishing nets back into carpet fibre that we can use in our modular flooring. What we're doing with Networks is creating a new and innovative and practical example of an inclusive business model. Groups from the communities go out into the environment, collect nets off the beaches or from the sea, and they get nets from fishers at the end of life, so preventing them from getting into the environment in the first place. As a group, the community then sell the nets into a global supply chain, and they're regenerated into nylon yarn that can then be used to make some very beautiful products, such as Interfaces carpet tiles. Sa ako lang gitugaanan ako ang mga anak, parte sa network, nga mahimong carpet. Dasi kaya ko mga anak ato, nga yung ato ba day ang net, nga basura unta. Pero pagbalik na sa nahuman sa net, nga trabaho na, ay pinakanindot yun, nga mahimong carpet. There is some value that gets back down to the local communities. It's not going to replace fishing or seaweed farming or some of the other main activities that they do, but it does provide additional source of income, which is really important in a place where people often struggle to feed their families three times a day. I always believe that you can do business at the same time, contributing for very serious objectives like cleaning the oceans of marine debris. So it's not a charity. This is an enterprise, a social enterprise. Developing inclusive business is not about philanthropic giving. We're doing this to demonstrate that there is a better way of doing business. And Networks is genuinely inclusive in that respect. What we want to do with Networks is ensure that as much of the value of the nets is retained within the community in order for the communities to benefit as much as possible. One of the key aspects of the Networks programme was creating the ability for the villagers to save using the community banking systems that we set up. Twelve months on, we can now see the value that those community banks are bringing to the villagers. Nalipay. Nalipay mo yung maayo tungod kay na ang net nakatabang po niya siya pagdugang sa among savings. Sa kwarta, para rayod siya ko ang mga anak na nag-eskwela pagkakaroon o sa diha sa kumpani malay diha rajon nako gidapat ang kwarta nako diha sa pumuska in community banking they were able to address other needs in the family especially in in the schooling of their children or even the daily needs like buying rice for a day it actually helps the community to learn how to save they save now for the future one of the exciting things about Networks as a partnership model is the way that we're working together to tackle environmental and social problems in the developing world. Networks require the special skills and adaptability of each one of our partners with ZSL's conservation expertise and their relationships in the field. Aquafil provided a pioneering echinal regeneration system, a way of recycling nets without which none of this would be possible. What makes the Networks partnerships so unique is the long-term relationships that we have, the amount of trust that we have. Interface has long been an advocate of an open innovation approach and Networks really demonstrates that collaborative innovation without finding the right partners wouldn't have been possible. If I look at the Networks initiative, I, I find it very exciting because of course this is a big part of the kind of the work that I do, the perspective that I bring. So the combination of things here with networks in terms of the additional livelihood generation, the additional income, along with you know the banking and the ability now to create a savings plan and to have access to credit does have the potential to be transformational.
It really shattered the whole country. Houses were destroyed, villages were just erased. Nakatawag ko, nasyak na lang ko, nganing kurog ako mga anak, nanghilak, nigakos na ako. Noon sa ni kay naratol may kay kung wapato ni Hunong, sunsan nalang may tabo na mo. Din kasagaran sa mga bayan, nga damage. What's important is moving forward and we've seen that the human spirit cannot be overpowered for so long. And the strength of humanity really showed. Even with a very devastated situation, people were not hopeless. We believe and we call it Bayanihan. It's how we volunteered ourselves if one member in the community needed our help. The resilience of the people in the Philippines has been amazing. The infrastructure that we designed for taking fishing nets out of the villages, they reversed so that they could use to bring aid into the villages. Much of that aid was distributed through the community banks and people were able to get access to, to relief faster than they would otherwise have been able to. One of the things I find really interesting over the last year is seeing the way that the people are responding to the programme. What we expected to find after the earthquake was that the volume of nets being collected would reduce as people's priorities change and they focus on trying to rebuild. But what we actually found was that in some communities, net collection actually appeared to increase. And so some people were turning to nets as a way of supplementing their livelihoods during that period, which says a lot about the resilience of the model. Now that the programme has been proven in the Philippines, we've invested in ZSL to create a team to expand the networks programme further. The issue of nets littering on coastlines is not very local to Danahon Bank. Where we are now is that we are ripe for expanding networks. Ang gilaw man naman ma'am nga, at gilaw man ma'am ba nga, muda ko ba ma'am ba, nga dili pa sa kansi lugdanan, hang ko bisang tulong ma'am ba nga magpadayon, good ma'am ba. What's so important about initiatives like networks is the experience that you gain. It's a win environmentally, it's a win socially, it's generating livelihoods for the poor, and then there are also multiple sources of income. So it's a win, 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 win proposition, and to me that's the gold standard. It's a huge achievement to have got to where we have got to, and to be able to sit here today and look around at all the huge quantity of nets that are here and realize the amount of work that's actually gone into that, I think it's been a huge success. We hope that the Networks program will serve as a source of inspiration to companies around the world because, as Ray Anderson said, there has to be a better way. <laughs>